we've been waiting for 10 years. Uh, first phase went well. Uh, inshallah, uh, we expect a good turnout from uh, the second phase also. Uh, regardless of uh, which party, uh, enthusiasm in political rallies has been heartening. Uh, now we hope that that enthusiasm translates into voter turnout also. So, uh, MEA has invited a foreign diplomat uh, to uh, uh, check the elections here to... Uh... I don't know why foreigners should be asked to check elections. Uh, when foreigners, uh, foreign governments comment, uh, then government of India says this is an internal matter for India. Uh, now suddenly uh, they want foreign observers to come and look at our elections. These are an internal matter for us. Uh, we don't need their certificate. And also, uh, this participation is not because of Government of India. Uh, it's in spite of everything Government of India did. Uh, they have humiliated people, they have used uh, all the machinery of the government to detain and harass people. In spite of that, people are coming and participating in elections. So this is not something Government of India should be highlighting. But anyway, uh, that's the way they are. So you today are? is a very important day for you as you're fighting from... Uh, all election from days are important. Uh, it's not about me. Uh, it's about uh, the party as a whole. Uh, therefore, first phase was as important. Third phase will be as important. Uh, yes, I've got a personal stake in this. Uh, but for the party, all three phases are important. You are going to party in two constitutions here. How much you are confident you will get a positive result for both constitutions? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm quietly hopeful the rest is uh, first in the hands of the Almighty and then in the hands of the voters. So let's see. Uh, Mahabha Mufti, according to her, that uh, bogus voting in Gandharbal area. And she also yeah, but, Mahidi wrote a letter to election commission to investigate. Uh, please investigate. I can't help it if their candidates have not been able to sort of uh, make the impact that they had expected. Uh, it's not my fault that people have withdrawn uh, from the election campaign in my favor. Uh, PDP was very happy uh, to be uh, the recipient of Apni Party's support in Badgam <coughs> until uh, Mahideen Muntazir Sahib uh, went against his party and announced his support for me personally. After that, PDP got upset uh, and then started attacking us and the Apni Party. PDP has clearly seen the writing on the wall. Uh, forget about Badgam and Gandharbal. They'll be lucky to win even in uh, Bijbihara. Uh, so I don't want to say much about it. Rahul Gandhi is also coming today here. Uh, good. Uh, I hope that after Rahul is done campaigning in one or two seats in Kashmir, he focuses in Jammu. Ultimately, uh, what the Congress does in Kashmir is not that important. What the Congress does in Jammu is important. And unfortunately, uh, Congress hasn't done as much in the plains of Jammu as we would expect them to do. The lion's share of the seats that the alliance gave uh, in Jammu was to the Congress party. Uh, yet uh, the Congress's campaign in Jammu is yet to begin and there are only five days of campaigning. So I hope that after Rahul is done campaigning on this one seat in the valley, uh, the Congress focuses all its attention in the plains of Jammu. What about the overall Jammu and Kashmir political situation? BJP claims that the government is dependent upon the Jammu. Government is dependent on? No, but we government bani nahi na. Eight October ke baad government bani diye, fir baat karenge. Thank you. Okay. Thank you.